Hi y'all, this is So So Blessed. Welcome to the Blessed Place. I got a funny story for y'all. And the reason I'm telling this story is because often I watch YouTube and I sit here and laugh. When you talk about L-M-A-O or R-O-F-L or L-O-L, -L, I mean, I literally sit here and laugh my butt off. So I thought I would start a campaign, albeit I might be the only one who participated in this campaign, but I want to start a campaign entitled Make My Day. And what I want is for you to share a funny story and make someone's day. It's just that simple. I mean, there is so much going on in this world. Every turn, there is death and crime and politics and high gas prices. The list goes on and on. So a good laugh is something to be cherished. So make somebody's day and I'm gonna see if I can make your day with this story okay y'all my husband rewind 22 years ago I was a college student and my husband was my college sweetheart kinda somewhat he was more so friend with benefits but it sounds good now when you say he was my college sweetheart. Anyways, I met him in Orlando at a club, and we talked. We met on the dance floor. We hit it off. First time I ever met a guy at a club that actually, I mean, we danced a couple of dances, and we went outside on a, they had a patio, and we hit it off and literally talked for a couple of hours. And we knew there was something special even then, 22 years ago. So a couple of months later, he comes to my college. And he comes on, I think it was a, it was a Friday night. And he wants to stay in a hotel like that's right across. You can walk out of my dorm, my dorm building and literally walk a couple of feet to this hotel and he wanted to stay at this hotel and me poor struggling college student I said you don't need to spend any money at a hotel you can stay here in my dorm and he says what if your mom or your dad should come here and I said my mom and my dad never come here. If my mom was ever going to come here, she would call me. But my mom doesn't come here. Mind you, I went to college about mm, 30 minutes from home. Also, let me sidebar that I come from a very strict Christian upbringing. I mean, so strict to where my curfew was at midnight and I'm talking about even while I was in college while I was in college and I would go home I had to be home by midnight so suffice it to say uh, if I wanted to go out somewhere I didn't come home but they, my, my mom my dad, especially my mom very strict staunch Christian upbringing okay back to the story no, my mom never comes here. Then he says, no, I think it's best that we go to the hotel. No, 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 no. Well, mind you, I had the power. Because <laughs> you know what he wanted, right? So he agreed with me. He stays over. And the next morning, bright and early, y'all. Okay, first of all, let me set this up. The dorm. The dorm building, unless you are a 
a resident in the dorm, you can't just come in and out. You have to have a key to get into the building. Or someone has to, well, not a key to get into the building, but, oh yes, after hours. After hours, okay, this is 22 years ago, y'all. But after hours, um, you had to have a key. After hours or before hours, you had to have a key to get in. So that's another thing I told him. Oh yeah, and anyway, even if my mom did come here, she can't get to my room. You have to have a key to get in the building. And then once you have a key to get in the building, you have to come to the, to the reception area and pick up the phone and call the dorm because you can't wander around the dorm by yourself. So I had all these safeguards in place, right? Next morning, after doing the do. I hear, y'all, this is what I hear on my dorm room door. Me, not having a clue, could not even fathom that this is possibly my mother. I'm thinking it's my girlfriend who lives a floor above me. I say, yes. And my mom puts her mouth between the door jam and says, it's your mother. Oh my God. I can remember the feeling and the fear I had even 22 years later. I woke my husband up, who, mind you, was just the friend with benefit at this time, and I woke him up like this. And I said, wake up, wake up. Mind you, I'm whispering. I'm talking loud now because there's something wrong with my volume, but mind you, I'm whispering. Wake up, wake up. And he's like, what, what, what? I said, my mom is at the door. Mind you, I'm whispering this. My mom is at the door. He jumps up. He's gathering his clothes that are sh all strewn around the room. And he's like, I'll hide in the bathroom. And I'm like, no, no, no. That's the first place she's going to look. While all of this is going on, my mom is still in the door jam saying, what are you doing? Okay, now she's gone to the middle name, Lachetta. Okay, that's a whole other story, the middle name. Lachetta, what are you doing? Come to this door. Oh, my God. I'm running around like a chicken with my head cut off. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to hide him because I'm in this little small room that has nowhere to hide. So I say, just go in the bathroom and put on your clothes. Don't try to hide. Just go put on your clothes. He goes into the bathroom to put on his clothes. I go to the door to my mom. I open the door just slightly, ever so slightly. And, oh, mind you, I throw on this little T-shirt that I had. And I have on a T-shirt and some panties. Okay, the T-shirt is a whole other story that I will get to. I open the door ever so slightly, and I ease myself out the door. And I says yeah mom and she says what are you doing who do you have in this room why did it take you so long to get to the door because mind you this room is so small three steps and I'm at the door what took you so long to get to the door and I say um I have company and she says you have company who do you have in here and then she takes a look at my t-shirt oh god of all the t-shirts I could have been wearing, what did this t-shirt say? 12 ways to say I love you. And it has 12 different sexual positions on this t-shirt. Mind you, I was all, not always the Christian lady that I am now. 12 ways to say I love you. And then she says, and what are you wearing? Oh my God, open this door. So she forces her way into the room my husband, then my boyfriend with benefits, a friend with benefits, comes out of the bathroom and she says, and she knows him because he's already met them, he spent Christmas with us, and she says, Charles, do you know that she could lose her scholarship? Do you know that you are not supposed to be in this room? Do you know that I did not raise her like this? You need to go outside and see my husband. Mind you, all this time I did not know my dad was outside sitting in the car. Charles, oh, before he leaves, this is the clincher. After 
my mom says, do you know you're not supposed to be here? Do you know this? Do you know that? Do you know I raised her better than this? He says, ma'am, I told her we should have went and stayed in the hotel across the street. Oh my God. And do you know 22 years later, even though we laugh about this story, he does not see the problem in telling a young Christian girl's mother that this all was premeditated and I told her let's go to the hotel? Y'all, now we say, wouldn't it have been neat to say, oh, ma'am, don't worry about it. In about 17 years, I'll be her husband. Y'all be blessed.